Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krat and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza and here are your top stories. Milo, the female orangutan rescued from the Phuket Zoo earlier this year, passed away last night at a sanctuary in Kanchanaburi, wildlife officials confirmed. According to officials, Milo died because of a mix of old age and long-term poor nutrition. Earlier this year, Milo had been found in a forest in Talang after disappearing from the Phuket Zoo in Shillong, where she was held for two years. And the U.S. ambassador says they're troubled by the recent arrests of an activist mother in connection with online private chats that were critical of the royal family. U.S. ambassador to Thailand, Glenn Davies, made the remarks yesterday just days after Patnari Chankij, who is the mother of activist Janu Saritawat, she was released from military custody. Officials detained and charged her for violating the Lese Majesté law for allegedly replying, quote, Ja, which is simply a non-committal acknowledgement in a Thai language. And it, this was made during a private Facebook Messenger chat. This week, Thailand's human rights record was heavily criticized by several countries at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. And Bangkok citizens and police are breathing a sigh of relief after they found out that an abandoned metal box was not full of radioactive waste. The box was found yesterday in a deserted building in the Chatuchak district of the capital with a hazardous chemical label on top of it. Luckily, it only contained expired chemicals and posed no health risk, according to officials. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. The Laguna Phuket Marathon 2016, Asia's largest destination marathon. Laguna Phuket Marathon will be taking place on June the 4th and 5th this year. More than 8,000 runners from around the world are expected to enjoy two days of races and fun. The 10.5K run, the 5K walk and run and the 2K kids run will take place the afternoon of June 4, whilst the half marathon and marathon will start early morning on the 5th of June. For more information and to sign up, visit phuketmarathon.com or go to race.com. Come run paradise. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Researchers say child sex tourism is still rising around the world despite efforts to curb the heinous crime. A new report by the United Nations, which is the biggest study done to date by the way, says child sex abusers often go to countries with the weakest laws and says Thailand has actually improved in this realm by ramping up enforcement efforts. The report also said that many of the suspects in Southeast Asia are likely to be travelers from Japan, China, South Korea, and other Asian countries, primarily because there are many of them traveling throughout the region. And finally, a dead Siberian husky is being praised in Nontaburi for protecting his fellow canine companions after losing his life in a battle against a cobra. Reports say Tai Ki was the leader of a pack of dogs in a breeding facility in Nontaburi and had fought a 1.8 meter cobra that had been chasing a rat near its home. The seven-year-old husky, the cobra, and the rat were all found dead at the home yesterday and its owner, Kit Poponyapat, said that Tai Ki sacrificed his life to protect his home and the 13 other dogs in the building. Well, that's it for all of us here in Phuket Extra on this Friday edition. Check us out on Phuket Extra Extra tomorrow where we look at the top five stories of the week. We'll be back on Monday with a brand new Phuket Extra. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee kap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.